I was reflecting on when I first came, came onto this whole idea of balance um, in, in so much as when, uh, when I felt most balanced. Mm. Because of course, it's all also be interesting to explore, have we ever felt out of balance? Yeah. But when I first felt, really felt that I was in the right place at the right time, it, it, it wasn't in Afghanistan or anything, it was during training, mm. um, which is of course when it should be, because that's when you, you do, you know, you try to learn <laughs> in training and uh, train hard, fight easy and all the rest of it. We were um, doing an exercise in Cyprus uh, I was still at Sandhurst, and um, we we were always asking our staff because, of course, we hadn't we hadn't actually engaged with soldiers yet. We hadn't actually led real troops yet. We were too new to be trusted to do that yet. But um, but we were always asking this question: Where's the right place for the leader to put themselves? Where should the leader be? And the answer came back was a tactical bound which was such an unhelpful answer because we wanted to know, is it 20 meters, is it 50 meters? But of course, it depends. And that's what we mean by a tactical bound is whatever the situation you is presenting itself with, then you need to be just behind the troops at an appropriate distance to the context that you're in. But, it, but again, it wasn't helpful because we needed to experience this. And then once we'd experienced it, we'd go, all oh, right, I understand what this means now. And it was my turn to be the, the, the platoon commander, my turn to be in charge, um, because we took it in turns, first amongst equals sort of stuff. And um, we were assaulting a machine gun position, which was at the top of this um, rise in an olive grove in Cyprus. And I remember a moment in time where I had deployed my my one of my sections off to the right hand side and they were going to put down fire support on this position uh, my other section over to the right uh, to the left hand side and they were going to um, be the assaulting section and i had a section in reserve behind me and i suddenly thought for a moment do you know what i know i now know what they mean by a tactical bound because i am personally in the right place i can control what's happening over there to the extent i need to control it mm -hmm. Um, I can control what's happening over there to the extent that I need to control it. And, I've, I'm, and I'm in reasonably good communication with the people behind me. For right now, I'm in exactly the right place. But of course, the whole, the whole thing is fluid because these guys were, were firing on the machine gun position and keeping their heads down. These guys were moving and assaulting through the position, which meant that suddenly I was no longer in balance because this lot had moved over here. So I now needed to move my position to again, once again, be in balance. But it was like, where, where is the best place for me to be, to be able to influence as much of the environment as I can or as I need to in that moment? Those two sections were doing great work. They didn't need me to go and meddle and get involved in them. They were doing terrific stuff. If a problem had occurred, I was in exactly the right place to be able to go and deal with the problem and come back out again. But not to stay there and meddle because that commander in that section, hey, that, that person had a job to do. Mm. If I went up there and did that job for them, they were like, well, why do you need me? You know, you're doing my job for me. Get, you've got a bigger job to do. You need to be looking after three teams, not just one team. So I found the right spot. I found the the spot that I just sort of described as the, the, the balanced spot, yeah, where I was in the right place to influence things, but it never stays static. It's always moving. So you're always having to find yourself.